Alright, here's my review of AOKP Build 40 for the HTC Droid Incredible 2. Sorry, just ignore my cat in the background. Alright, sorry. Um, this is their latest release. I've been using Build 38 on this phone, but I haven't really upgraded like past that. So, let's go into settings. Let's go under about phone. You can see it's Android 4.0.4. HTC Incredible 2. I also have hardware info now. Although it doesn't show anything yet. That's good. That's going to be like a feature that they add um, later. Developer options. Usual ICS stuff. Let's go into ROM controls. You have the general UI. You can turn off the boot animation if you, if you don't if you want to speed up your uh, boot process and like you don't want to see the boot animation. You can disable the bug mailer so like it, you don't send bugs to a, the AOKP team. You can turn on 180 degree rotation. That's when you turn your phone upside down. You can change the recent window style. WebOS. Just hit allow. Wait for it to restart the system UI. And then see, that's the WebOS. And then you also get the Sense 4. Wait for it to. That's Sense 4. I, I really like the WebOS style, but just leave it on Sense 4. Um, you can change the density of your, of your screen to make things look smaller or bigger. You can show. IMEI switcher, which is like the keyboard switcher in the status bar, where you pull it down and you tap it and you can change your keyboard. You can enable volume options. See, it's little settings over there. Alright, you can have a custom carrier label. So this says Verizon Wireless. You can change that to say my awesomely epic phone or something. I don't really know. You can hold back to kill. So if you're in an app, oops. You can press and hold back, and that will kill it. Rotation delay, you can change how long you want it to take to turn. Set that as fast. Navigation bar, so you can have like back, home, and then recent apps. I don't use that because this has capacitive buttons, but you can use that if you want to. You can choose lock screen wallpaper. You can have lock screen text color. You can also change how it looks. Let's put it on stock. This is stock. Alright, you can change the color of the text. Also, also, you can have menu unlock. You can have wait to lock screen. So when you lock, when you press that button, it waits to, to like put the lock screen on there. You can have lock screen battery percentage. You can have lock screen weather. You can have a little panel. A volume wake. Let's set that. Volume music controls. Stock music layout. You can have your calendar, like of upcoming events, and like a little ticker. The little thing that goes that changes for your text with the calendar. You can have fast forward where you press hold power and it turns on the uh, light on the back. Um, show lock stream before unlock, which is like the face unlock or something. All right, let's go back. Power menu. This is your power menu. When you press hold power, you can show a screenshot. Show it's hot, like torch. As you can see, screenshot and torch are both there. Let's go back. You can have weather. Turn weather on. You can show location. You can use a custom location if you don't want to use where you're at now. Refresh interval. You can change the. Let's hit get weather. So you can change it like so how it it'll be a panel when it pops up. But you can change that to like above carrier text. See how it says Middleburg 75 degrees Fahrenheit showers. Let's go to weather panel. And now it shows it in a little weather panel. You can change the refresh interval. Oh, also, let me show you the lock screen. That's the weather on the lock screen, by the way. See, east 7 miles per hour, Middleburg showers, 
shows you your battery percentage and everything. It's pretty nice. Power saver. This just helps you save battery by like disabling Wi-Fi when you're not using it, your data, just stuff like that. Let's go to LED options. You can change how long it pulses on. The little notification light. It's not going to pulse on because I don't have a notification. But when it does, you can change how long it pulses on. Also, you can change how, how long it's off. You can change the color. And you can have a flash all your screens on. So let's go to general. Use default settings behavior. Um, you can auto hide the toggles. Those are your toggles. You can have your brightness toggle, or you can disable that. Well, it isn't like you gotta restart the uh, status bar thing. You can change, you can show notification count, you can have notification drawer layout. So if, if you wanted everything to be on the bottom, you can hit reversed. Alright, let's go to toggles. You can change the toggles that you have in, enabled. So say you want vibrate and torch. Let's pick one more. Let's pick swagger. All right, and now you have six. You can also change the order of those. So say you want is is there that one? Not seeing it data. All right, let's go back. You can change the order of those. I usually have Wi-Fi and then data, but that works too. As you can see, you can change orders. You can also change the layout. Say if you wanted this kind of toggles. Let's disable swagger. Let's see how it looks. That works. Let me change like where it's only the icons instead of text. Yeah, you can reset toggles. Well, let's go back. Bright brightness location. Let's have don't show. Makes up makes more space. All right, let's go back. Oh, this is like the CM brightness where you press and hold and you drag your finger across. Alright, I think I might have to reset that. But. And then you can go to clock. You can have clock style. You can have it in the center. You can have it normal. Day of the week. Regular, small. So you have day of the week and you have AM, PM. You can change the color, and also you can turn off the alarm icon if you don't want it. You can change your battery icon. You can have it where it shows text only, icon with text, icon with center text is what I usually pick. As you can see it's got the little text in the center. I, I touch it to focus it in, but then it messes up me trying to pull it back out. So You can change the text for your signal. I usually just leave it as bars because it works better. Alright, let's go to max CPU. So if you wanted to, you could over overclock this. I'm going to go 1.2 because AOKP is plenty fast enough already. Um, scaling Governor is on interactive. Free memory. Set a boot. Just going to click that. You can have fast charge. Enable fast charge or boot. Scrolling cache. Some color things. Let's go to startup tweaks. Alright, so you can you can turn these on. Also, you can have zip align all APKs. Those are your apps. You can enable the SD card boost. You can change the, like the read ahead value. You can fix permissions, clear cache, enable whatever that word is, and enable schedule task. So let's go back. Also, a person commented on he he liked my uh, name for my SSID, so I just figured I'd show you guys that. Um, it comes with Nova Launcher and the Stock Launcher. I prefer Apex <laughs> Apex Launcher, but that's just me. 
because it has more features. Because one of my favorite transition is like like the tablet. But that's just me. So let's just go to stock launcher. And I'll show you some apps that it comes with. It comes with stock Google besides Nova Launcher and Super User. This does come with Super User and not Super SU. So that's a bonus. Not sure why that's not showing up. Let's just hit back. See, you can press and press and hold back to kill that app. I don't have that selected though, so I'm already getting a force close. Here's a dialer. It comes with a stock ICS keyboard. So let's go into messaging. I'll show you guys the keyboard. See, it comes with stock ICS keyboard. It's it's a really good keyboard though. So. All right, let's go back. Let's go to let's go to the camera. Um, let's try to close that out and go back to it. So you may have to reboot for the camera to uh, work. All right, so let me show you guys the wallpapers. AOKP -A includes their own set of unique wallpapers. So if you want to set a unicorn as your wallpaper, set your unicorn free. They also have a custom live wallpaper. I think it's kind of funny. Unicorns floating around. Alright, let me show you guys the boot animation. Hit reboot. Hit OK. Let me show you guys this boot animation. As you can see, it's a pretty simple boot animation. My battery's dying, so... <laughs> it says battery 100% there, and up there it says 12%. I think that's kind of funny. So let's unlock it. Hit OK. Let's go back to stock launcher. You can turn on AOKP statistics. That helps them with their bug trackers. Oops. Go back. Alright. Now let's try the camera. Alright. So maybe hit the clear cache and then try it again. I'm not sure. I'll post in the description if if I, I get it to work, like by clearing cash and stuff. Um, but that was my review of AOKP Build 40 on the HTC Droid Incredible 2.